Today we're gonna get a little scary, a little creepy, and perhaps a bit uncomfortable. Stick around. Welcome to Comic Misconceptions, a show that takes you into detail about the things you think you know about comics. I'm your host, Scott Nicewander, and today we're going to do a top five list of the characters in comic books that I personally find the most scary. Before we begin the episode, I think I should reiterate that this is a personal list, so you will have differing opinions. Remember that when you're yelling at me in the comments about how I missed one of the characters that you find very scary. It was hard to limit it down to just five and also put them in order, so there were definitely some great ones that are missed. Also, we're going to be throwing Joker completely out of the picture here because, number one, I find it too easy to just put him on this list. I feel like everybody puts the Joker on scary villains list, but number two, I don't really find him personally scary to me. Maybe it's because I'm used to him. I mean, he does do many horrific things, like surgically attaching people together uh, so that he can have a canvas to paint Batman on. That was weird. Also, that brings up a good point. There will be images in this episode that are a bit unsettling, so if you are susceptible to that sort of thing, you have been warned. With all that out of the way, I think we should start this top five list with my number five, which was a part of the trivia question that I asked you guys last week. So the trivia question I asked you guys last week was, what creepy character's name roughly translate, actually we're gonna skip over that entirely, number one, because nobody got it right, but number two, it was a terrible question and I don't even know if it's correct. So I apologize, we're still working out at the kinks in these top five episodes. But my number five pick has to go to Cronin from Hellboy. I've always had this thing about murderers coming at me and no matter what I do to shoot them or stab them or whatever, they don't feel pain. I can't kill them. They just keep coming as if nothing's happening. That's terrifying to me and Cronin definitely embodies that. He's also a mad scientist doing things like reanimating disembodied heads and fusing robots and corpses together to make an army. In the 2004 Hellboy film, Cronin had body dysmorphia disorder. He was addicted to surgery to try and achieve physical perfection, and I for one think that he nailed it. Ladies, you know you want a piece of that, which I'm sure he will, he will give you a piece if you ask. Crazy surgeons and scientists obsessed with physical perfection is always scary to me because they view perfection in a completely different way than we do and can achieve some very horrifying results because of it. Coming in at my number four pick is Violator from Spawn. You know we had to throw a clown on this list because chlorophobia is pretty common, thanks to Stephen King, I would assume. At least he didn't help anything. Violator is a demon straight from hell whose only purpose is to serve Satan in forming Hell's army. In his clown form, he's already pretty disturbing. He's a short and fat and gross guy with frightening face paint, but in his true form, he looks like this. Not entirely pleasant to look at. I think we're gonna move on. Number three on my list has got to be a tie between any character that performs this one particular thing, this one act of scary grossness. I don't like it when people mess with faces. Uh, I don't like it when they cut faces or cut faces like off either. Okay, so notable examples would be Hush from Batman who performs facial surgery on himself to look like other people, notably like Bruce Wayne so that he could try to do Bruce Wayne things, because why wouldn't you want to do that? But also we have someone like Dollmaker who wears a mask that's partially made up of his father's dead face. No thank you. He also cut off and sewed together different parts of people's faces to make a face that looked like Jim Gordon. Stop doing these things. And of course he was responsible for cutting off Joker's face because we needed that in our lives. This is, I can't even, that's just, just Disgusting. This is partially why I find Cronin from earlier pretty terrifying because he did similar things to his face, but uh, you know, he's also a mad scientist and that's just scary on its own. So if there are people that are messing with faces, you can be assured I am afraid of them. So I had a really hard time figuring out the order of the next two characters. They flip flopped a lot, but I think I finally got a logical order that makes sense. So coming at my number two pick, is the Crooked Man from Hellboy. Notice that I didn't show any picture there because I want to warn you 
once more. This picture is very disturbing, and it's basically the reason why he's so high on my list. So, here we go, you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Crooked Man. I don't think I necessarily need to explain why I'm scared of this guy. Everything from his crazy eyes, to his crazy smile, to the way that he died, which was being hanged. I don't like bodies hanging there. That's not very pleasant to me. I think this guy just takes everything that creeps me out and just perfects it without even trying. And I'm not okay with that. But my next pick, my top pick, my number one pick is even more scary, in theory. Some of you may think this is cheating, but when I think of a character that strikes fear to anyone he meets, I first think of Scarecrow, because no matter how terrifying the other people on this list are, Scarecrow's fear toxin will make me hallucinate an amalgamation of all of the worst things about each one to create a terrible monster that needs to be burned immediately. Plus, scarecrows themselves are just scary. I mean, they have this thing, right, where I can't shoot them or stab them because they're just made of straw, so that's that again. And also, their faces are, like, all sewn together, so it's already a combination of two things that I'm just not fond of. But that's my top five scariest characters in comic books. I'm interested to see what you guys think. Leave who you think is the scariest comic book character in the comments below, or leave your entire top five, because Maybe I missed somebody important and you were waiting to yell at me. Now is an appropriate time to yell at me via text comments. All caps. Gotta do that or else I won't know. But with the first top five wrapping up, I say we hit the trivia challenge. So next week we're doing another fan suggested episode and that's gonna be exciting because we're gonna talk about Moon Knight. You know, that character that I always sacrificed to get Ghost Rider in Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Because, you know, Halloween, full moons, moon night, I think the logic is pretty sound. And honestly, I'm having trouble coming up with a Halloween-themed episode for the week after, so keep those suggestions coming, because I'm out. <laughs> but Moon Knight is a little challenging, because I feel like every question is a trivia question. I could ask you what his first name is, and that would be a challenge to most of you guys. I mean, it was to me yet before I looked it up. But we're gonna go a little bit more in-depth here. There was a time when Moon Knight used Egyptian weapons in his arsenal. So this week's trivia question is, who designed and built most of Moon Knight's Egyptian weapons? If you know the answer, which I would be impressed if you knew that off the top of your head, or if you just want to leave your best guess, you can do so in the comments below. So get started on this week's trivia challenge. It's like a it's boomerang. That was one of Moon Knight's Egyptian weapons. It, it was in my head. Roll the thing. Thank you for watching Comic Misconceptions. If you haven't subscribed to Nerdsing Productions on YouTube already, you totally should. We have new Comic Misconceptions every Wednesday. We also have some other great videos that I think you guys will really enjoy. You can also like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter at Scott Nicewander. And we'll see you guys next week for more things that you thought you knew about comics. See ya. In the 2004 Hellboy film, Cronin had Badia, Badia, Badia. In the 2004 Hellboy film, Cronin had Badia. I keep saying Badia. What is Badia? I don't know. It's fun though. Badia. Badia. Yes, Badia.